it's 5 a.m. here in Dubai in the morning and I'm recording this video for you guys because I want to talk about I lost my $500,000 funded account this month and also my $1.5 million in funding challenges that I started doing in the month of January. It all happened in one single month. Now this video is inspired by Andrew NFX and also Vagar Asim. This is going to be more of unedited video and I want to keep it very simple. So if you're new to this channel and you don't know who I am, I go by the name The Falcon Trader on YouTube, but my original name is Ajwad Salim. A little introduction about me before we deep dive into the details. I started trading when I was 19 years old. I was doing my bachelor's in computer science. I still remember my friend, he told me about trading. I was in my second semester, it was January 2017. And before that, I had absolutely no idea what trading was. So I started researching how to trade, how I can make money. And just like all of you, I came across all these fake gurus. And I was very inspired by the lifestyle, to be honest. Now, I was in Pakistan at that time. And in Pakistan, as a 19 year old, all my friends, they never thought about making videos. They never thought about doing any online work. They never thought about doing trading and nobody knew what trading was as well. So, and to be honest, when you make like five, six hundred dollars while living in Pakistan, you, you are basically considered a very good uh, person who is making a decent amount of income. So for me, it was hard that I had to start from the scratch. I had absolutely no idea what trading was, no idea about the financial market. So I started learning about trading, took me two years to first make my, you know, profits on my personal account because at that time I was trading on my personal account. Then when I withdrew some of the money, it was only $1,000 account that I was trading at the time. I came across FTMO and literally at the time, nobody really knew what FTMO was. So I decided that I'm going to take out all the money that I invested and I will use that to start the challenge with FTMO. I remember taking $100,000 funding challenge account with FTMO in February 2019. I could not pass that challenge, but I did not fail that as well. I got the free retry, then I completed the evaluation in my second attempt. I was already making profits on my personal account. However, my personal account, it wasn't like I was trading six figures. I was just trading small one, two thousand dollars every single month. So when I completed the evaluation, I reached the first payout. Then I blew the funded account. Then it took me some time because after that, I tried completing the evaluation a couple of times. I failed and COVID came. And during that time, it was my final year in the university. So I had to complete the project so I could not really focus on trading side of the things. So from 2019 till 2021, I did not really make enough money. You know, the only money that I made, it was basically two payouts, one with funding talent and one before that with FTMO. And what happened, I was trading the funded account with funding talent in 2021, but they stopped their operations. So I lost my funded account. And it was like I received my second payout in September before they basically stopped funding traders and they stopped their operation. I was lucky enough to receive my payout. Then that was the time when, you know, I was starting my YouTube channel. I was recording a few of the videos and it, it, took, it took a huge turn because from that moment, I decided that I'm going to be putting a lot of effort in, in making myself disciplined enough that I'm going to be passing a lot of challenges. And I did pass a lot of challenges, got funded with my Forex fund, got funded with the funded trader program, also got funded with prop trading, which also back in the days stopped funding traders because of some regulation and all that. And during this 2021 to 2023 period, or let's say that during starting from 2021 till now, I pretty much made $250,000 in trading and out of that $160,000 were alone made by trading the prof firms. This account that I lost $500,000, I completed the valuation after like 
failing two times or three times I don't remember that correctly but I completed the evaluation in July 2022 and I started trading on this funded account on 18th July 2022 and from that time till now I pretty much made like $60,000 and probably at the time when you're watching this video or maybe just few days after I am going to upload this video the funded trader program is going to upload my trader interview on their channel as I was told that it's going to be uploaded on February 12th so I lost my account of course but I I traded that I made around sixty thousand dollars on that account I was initially trading a four hundred thousand dollar account but they scaled that from four hundred thousand dollars to five hundred thousand dollars and the the things that happened I did not really expect and it happens to every single one of them like one of one of traders and I am not you know saying that if you are successful in trading if you know how to make money trading then you're never gonna blow your challenge or you're never gonna blow your funded account because as a trader we always have losing months and we have to accept losses and I accepted the loss that I took I lost 500k in funding which is fine 1.5 million dollar in challenges that I was doing absolutely fine I will tell you why I'm saying it's fine or all my future goals so the reason when I started trading this year I was at break even like 500k account the initial balance I started trading I usually do not really risk a lot of money when I take the trade maximum risk that I have taken on this account it was like 2% but this time I was like, if I'm going to be risking 2 to 3% in one single trade or between 1 to 3%, let's say, because there were some trades in which I risked like 1 point something percent, then I will like also trade a little bit aggressively. I will try to complete my 20 to $30,000 profit target this month that I had, which was the mistake that I did because the profit target that I set, if I did not set that, then I would have not forced myself to force myself to take the trades. So I set the profit target that I'm gonna be making between twenty to thirty thousand dollars. And if I want to do that as I'm now trading part-time, there are a lot of things that are going in in my life. That's the reason I came to Dubai for some meetings. I'm also making content and also like Behind the scenes, there are a lot of things happening. I will announce very soon on my channel. So I was thinking I'm only gonna be taking trades part time. Like I'm, I will only have very less time. So why not just start risking a little bit more? Now I I lost few trades initially. Usually, when you lose a couple of trades in a row, and you go down like four or five percent on your funded account. I would say it's hard to recover from that losing streak. I have seen traders who do recover. I did that as well, but it's hard. It's not really easy because psychologically you start to, you know, have some doubts about your trading. You start to have doubts when you take the trade. You most of the times you will be taking the trades based on your emotions. And I did that as well. So I was down like four or five percent so instead of me lowering my risk and trying to recover that I kept forcing myself and at the end my overall drawdown limit got hit and at the same time I was trading my challenges I took few challenges at the start of January and I, I did, literally I took the challenges after a very long time I took, I think, like yeah, three hundred thousand dollar account with my funded FX. I took two hundred thousand dollar account with skill funded traders. I took four hundred thousand dollar account with the funded trader program. Uh, it it was like I just because I knew like I'm risking over risking on my funded account, so there is a chance that I'm gonna lose. So I will just make sure that I have one four hundred k funded account or four hundred k challenge. I would say. Uh, in the in the pipeline but I also lost that and then there was 
there were there were few challenges like total it was 1.5 million dollars uh, also like 300k or 500k i think challenges with funded engineer basically 500k challenges with funded engineer so that was the total amount that i lost 1.5 million in challenges and also 500,000 dollar in funded account the only payout that i received in january it was from the forex funder i was trading their $50,000 funded account that I still have because I only traded for very few times in December and I did not trade that account in January. I was waiting for the payout. I just wanted to see whether they're going to give me the payout or not. So that's why I did not really trade that account. And luckily I got the payout. It was $3,600. I made the video. The previous video was about the payout that I received. So that's how I lost my account. And before that, that's how I basically became profitable. Now, what are the lessons that I am taking from this? First thing first, I told you like, there are a lot of things that, that are happening in my life and I'm really, really busy. I'm traveling, I'm working on the content. That's the reason I'm not able to trade a lot, which is fine. So what I have decided that I will be trading of course because that's the that's the only thing that I where I spent like seven plus years even though I did not make millions but I just started making a couple of years ago like proper profits I started making a couple of years ago so I have decided that I am not gonna take five million dollar in funding challenges because I have money that I can spend on taking the challenges I'm not gonna be doing any sort of revenge trading I know that about myself what I'm going to do, the maximum amount of risk that I'm going to be risking on every single trade, it's going to be 1% on every trade. Each trade, 1% maximum risk. I'm yet to define or decide which prof firms I'm going to choose. Like I know a few of the firms that I'm going to choose. That includes the Funded Trader Program. That includes Funded Engineer, My Flash Funding. I'm currently working as a content creator for them. Uh, after my flash funding, my funded FX, and then I will see other firms that I want to add, maybe also skill funded traders. So overall, I'm definitely going to be targeting $5 million in funding by the end of this year. It's just February, or I will say it's February, and there are like 10 months still remaining. Or if I count February also, it's going to be like 11 months till the end of this year so i have a lot of time i'm gonna take my time to pass the evaluation i'm gonna take my time phase to pass phase one and to pass phase two and then get the front account and definitely guaranteed i know myself i believe in myself by the end of this year without forcing myself to take the trades that do not meet my trading criteria that do not meet my trading plan I'm going to complete the evaluation and get funded with multiple prof firms because prof firm industry is now is now changing. First, we saw my forex fund case. Now we have few forex fund example. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, of course. But our job as a trader is always to make sure if we are getting such opportunities when these evaluation firms they are giving us accounts by just trading or showing them that we can trade on the demo accounts by just making 8% in phase 1, 5% in phase 2 without any time limit, I think that's a wonderful opportunity and everyone who knows how to trade and most importantly who knows how to manage risk, everyone should take this opportunity and try to get funded. Just make sure guys that I can afford to lose $1.5 million in challenges. I spent 3,600 or 500 pounds. I can afford to lose 500k funded account because right now I'm at the stage where I'm making decent amount of money every single month from other things or other businesses. And I don't have to worry about paying my bills. And I don't, I'm not really trading to pay my bills. So that thing is covered. I'm not worried about my lifestyle not worried about taking care of my loved ones so that's the that's what i'm gonna say uh, what i want to say that i can afford to lose such amount but if you have a little bit of money i would recommend try to save some money and save it for few months of expenses like 
let's say if you want to become a funded trader i said this in one one of my video and you know how to trade if you don't then of course develop a trading strategy learn from someone you have to make sure that you have some expenses saved up and the expenses that you are going to save you're going to basically make sure to give yourself a little bit of cushion so you won't have to worry about it. You need to make more, you need to make profits to pay your bills. Once your bills, your expenses, your day to day life expenses, they will be covered for next six to 12 months. You will not be really forcing yourself basically to try to become funded trader and to try to get payouts. That's what you should do. And for me, as I am not really worried about those things, so I'm going to take my time. I'm going to put a load of dedication and also I'm going to put a lot of effort and I'm going to make sure that I stick to my trading plan and I will not over -whisk. So that's how I started. If you're new to the channel, then I wanted to just tell you how I started. A lot of the things happened in past three years. I never really expected that I will be here at this level because when I started YouTube channel I was kind of consistent profits like kind of making consistent profits but I wasn't really profitable profitable you know consistently profitable when I when I started the YouTube channel I knew now people are watching me I knew I have to make sure that I am not gonna do the things that I or what you know I'm gonna show you that this is how you need to make profits and I'm not gonna be making illogical mistakes so if I did not start YouTube I don't know what I would be doing in my life in trading as well because I told you I was kind of consistent profitable trader but when I started YouTube I had that feeling in my heart in my mind that every single time when I was trading that there are people who are watching me and I have to make sure that I guys you won't believe my camera battery died when I was talking so sorry for that I was saying that I had to make sure that every single time when I'm taking the trade and everyone who's following me on YouTube and they're watching me I have to make sure that I stick to my trading plan I, I do not over risk yes I did that this time but that's absolutely fine because the thing is I am not at, now I'm now at, at this stage that where I can lose some funded accounts some challenges because I can afford to do that I lost my funded account I lost my funding challenges but I'm gonna take a lot more funding challenges my plan for this year now the goal I said it like I did not know that my camera battery died so I just kept saying 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 until I got up and I saw that it's done so my goal for this year 2024 by the end of this year I'm definitely going to be taking 1.5 million plus extra 3.5 million that I now have decided few days ago so total 5 million dollar in funding challenges the firms that I'm going to be choosing definitely the funded trader program my flash funding my funded effects skill funded traders but the the thing that I want to say because I can afford to lose the challenges and I can afford to take the challenges again I'm gonna be doing the challenge however when you do the challenge make sure that you're only risking the amount that you can afford to lose most of the traders I have talked to them over the past few years the mistake that they they have made or they make the people who take the challenges is they're basically using their hard-earned money and they're randomly putting them on the challenges in all in hope that they are gonna pass it so that's something that you should avoid and whenever you're gonna take the challenge make sure before you take the challenge I said it in one of my videos make sure that you have first of all a proper trading system you have a risk management system you have traded on your personal account and you have generated consistent profits on your personal account and then you decide to take the challenge but just before that make sure that you have some expenses saved up for next 6 to 12 months 
the reason why I want you to save up some expenses because I want you to have that relaxation when you will be taking the challenges you are not really worried about your day-to-day -day expenses you're not worried about paying your rent paying your bills so if you're not really worried about your day-to-day -day expenses your bills then you will have less pressure when you will be taking the challenge and you will be getting the funded account you will not be really forcing yourself to try to pass the evaluation in the shortest period of time possible and to get the payout now when i'm going to take the challenge i have a lot of time there are a lot of things that are happening in my life a lot of great things i have a lot of time when i say i have a lot of time i don't mean that i have a lot of time for trading i will be only trading based on my routine based on the things that i want to do but i am not going to be rushing myself that i'm going to pass the 5 million dollar in funding challenges i'm going to get the payout and i'm going to be making six figures every month no that's not my goal my goal is take the challenges take your time pass them get the funded account and i am giving giving myself 11 months starting from february till the end of this year 2024 so i have a lot of time in order to achieve my goal my trading goal i am going to start my personal account very soon i'm going to let you know and there are a lot of exciting news that are going to come i will announce you so make sure if you are not a subscriber you subscribe and the, and the thing that i was saying like youtube made me consistent profitable trader and that's the thing that keeps me pushing every single time because you guys are here to watch me and if i am not really making any profits then what's the purpose of this content and what's the purpose of you watching me so i have to make sure and i'm gonna make sure that i will be following my plan the trading strategy that i developed over the years and i'm gonna be making sure that i won't be risking more than one percent on every single trade that i'm gonna take while doing the challenges when i will reach the funded account i will lower down the risk because when you're trading five million dollar in funded accounts then even if you make one percent a month that's going to be fifty thousand dollars and if you're getting eighty percent of the payout that's going to be forty thousand dollars to you so pro firms are a great great opportunity or i would like to say evaluation firms a lot of the things have happened, my forex fund, true forex fund. However, there is still a lot of potential for the valuation firms and you can take this opportunity to get a funded account, to become profitable funded trader, to make consistent payouts. The reason why I decided to make this video, because I want it to be very transparent and at the same time, Andrew NFX, he uploaded the video a few days ago. Wakar Asim started uploading this raw unedited video a few days ago. Or few weeks ago and that really inspired me I was thinking people are now liking they are not interested in this flashy YouTube lifestyle videos so why not just try to start making the content that's unedited and also try to just be more transparent so I lost my funded account I lost my challenges I'm, I'm talking about why I lost, what were the reasons. And for the, for the traders or for the people who are watching me for the very first time, I also talked about how I started. So yeah, I think that's pretty much that I wanted to share. And again, really grateful for the life that I, I am now living. <laughs> Damn, in, in last two years, a lot of the great things happened. And again, really grateful for that. And next, next few months they're gonna be they're gonna be one hell of the change in my life if you are not a subscriber make sure to subscribe because i will be announcing all all the things that i'm gonna be doing very very soon and things are gonna be things are gonna get really crazy in life and it's gonna be one one very good journey starting from now a lot of the things that i'm doing right now they are behind the scenes I don't want to really talk about them, but I will, of course, tell you in the very near future. So thank you so much for watching, guys. 
and if you like this type of unraw or unedited videos just let me know in the comment section i will try to make them more and yeah and sorry about the cut that happened basically it happened because of the battery i changed the battery and yeah so that's it from this video guys see you in the next one